no excuses. If you've been following along with the damn plan, you know that I say no excuses quite a bit. It's arguably the most important principle of the entire damn plan. Remember, D is for determined decisions, A is for act consistently, M is for mind your business, and that all important N is for no excuses. For the damn plan to work, you must get a no excuses attitude, or as I like to call it, a damn attitude. And in this video, I'm going to give you some ideas about how you can lose your excuses and gain that attitude, your own damn attitude. Hi, I'm Kim Nagel, keynote speaker, business coach, and author of The Damn Plan, how to find freedom, love, and money in your business. For real, actionable, no excuses business advice, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified every time I post a video. In my 30 years of coaching, well, let's get real. Quite frankly, I have heard a lot of excuses and I've made some very creative ones of my own. But I can tell you without a doubt that the excuses we make are like anchors. They hold us down. They hold us back. They let us off the hook for not doing that thing that we said we would always do or not staying focused, or not being disciplined. What would it mean to you to get rid of your excuses, to live your full potential, to make an incredible impact, all because you quit making excuses for why you can't? Recognizing that excuses may be holding us back and taking action and deciding to quit making excuses is the first step to developing that damn attitude, that no excuses attitude. It is the first step to you realizing your full potential. To be honest, it took me a trip to the ER, laying there hooked up to every piece of equipment in incredible stress-induced pain to quit making excuses. How had I let it go that far? Well, as simple as it sounds, I kept making excuses for why I couldn't do that which I knew I must. I quit making excuses for other people. I quit making excuses to let myself off the hook. The minute I took control of my finance and my business and my personal health, my life was the minute I started living up to my full potential. Excuses come in all shapes and sizes. You might remember making excuses as a kid. My favorite of all is, well, there's two that I, uh, that I really like, is I couldn't find my socks or the dog ate my homework. Saying them now really is kind of silly, but we've all made excuses. And you know what the excuses are? Excuses by definition are an expression of regret for failure to do something that we said we would do. And more often than not, we will let ourselves down. We will make an excuse that lets us down before we let anyone else down. When I coach my clients through the process of getting rid of their excuses, it can be a Bit uncomfortable sometimes because we need to call out the truth. Was it really a reason or are you just making excuses? And that's kind of where the attitude comes in. You need to get a little bit of a thick skin. I, I'll have to tell you the first time that I had to face the truth about my excuses, I had to thicken up my skin because it was uncomfortable. But you know where the magic happens? It's when we are a bit uncomfortable, when we decide to step out of our comfort zone. So are you ready? I'm going to walk you through four steps, very simple steps, but they take some time to really work through that might help you identify your excuses and start thinking about why you make them. Now from there, there's a lot of growth to be had, but I can tell you, as I tell everyone who are walk, who's walking through the damn plan, all this work, this work you're going to do on yourself, this work you're going to do in your business is so damn worth it. So the first step is recognizing 
how often you use excuses. Start being mindful of how many times you say, but. I really want to do that, but. I could make more money, but. I, I could record that video, but. The minute we say, but, we basically negate everything we said before it. So I talk in the damn plan about getting the butts out of your head. And this is where getting the butts out of your head starts, is in recognizing how often we use excuses. The second step is to make a simple list of your most common excuses. I don't have enough time. I don't have enough money. The kids needed something. My partner needed something. Um, the weather was bad. <laughs> I don't know, they go on forever. And you know what? The dog could even eat your business plan if you want. Some of our excuses are going to be silly when we start looking at them. Some of them are going to be serious. Some need some real contemplation. So whereas I can have a little fun with this and I want you to have some fun with it too, this is serious business. Three, three is to ask yourself why. Why are you making these excuses? Well, when I started recording these videos, I had, I had a lot of excuses for why I couldn't record the video. Oh gosh, my hair looked awful. Oh gosh, I got this neck thing going on. Oh gosh, the, I don't have all the right lighting and what kind of camera am I gonna use? And <sighs> why I was making those excuses was total avoidance. I was trying to procrastinate and just simply avoid it. When you get started on those tough projects, you find out that there's joy in them. You find out that they weren't so bad after all. So just quit making excuses and get started, take action. Just do it. It's really that simple. Number four, ask yourself, is this something that I can control? There are real excuses out there. You know, we have just gone through a pandemic and in many parts of the world, in the country, this pandemic is still very much alive. People are greatly affected by it. Their businesses, their livelihoods, their health, everything is greatly affected by it. But as with anything we're dealt in life, we can decide what we have control over and what we don't have control over. So your job in this is to only work, only worry about the things you can control. You can't control the weather. You can't control the entire economy, but you can control your attitude. You can control your mindset. You can control your health. You can control a lot of things to the best of your ability. Not any one day, the best of your ability might be different. So don't expect perfection. Do the best you can today, but take control of what you can and leave the rest alone. I wholeheartedly believe that the only way in the end that you can develop a no excuses attitude is to use all the tools of the damn plan, the D, the A, the M, and the N. In other words, develop your damn plan, and then work your damn plan, no excuses. Tie yourself to that and keep working it until it works. This isn't an easy habit to break, but I know from personal experience and from coaching others that when we kick the excuses habit, when we get a damn attitude, a no excuses attitude, it's literally life-changing. I also know that to kick the habit requires accountability, having someone that we can be accountable to. That is why I help my clients stick to their goals and make no excuses along the way. If you're looking for a no excuses coach, I invite you to get on a free 30 minute discovery call where we can talk about the plans that you have and perhaps the excuses you're making and see if we're a right fit. I've put the link to schedule an appointment in the description. Did you like this video? 
I would love it if you would hit the like button, subscribe, and then share with a friend because you just never know who might need to hear this message today. Thanks again for watching and have a good damn day.